up the inside of Alonso. Shit, my rival is there from being nowhere on race. This could be. Are we going to go for the last corner dive bomb? We've gone for the corner dive bomb, Ricardo. We've got him. Yes. Oh my god. Hello guys, Cusper Kevin Nano7 here and welcome to episode number 5 of the Season Challenge. Yeah, if you've not seen the previous episode, go back and watch it. It's, it's very entertaining and nerve-wracking all at the same time. Um, it is... Currently it's 5 past 10 at night on Friday as I'm recording this. Um, I spent all day trying to get us to work and it's only started working now so um, yeah, you know it's lights out and I've got the headphones also plugged in so the LED lights don't get much chance this often so if you have watched this episode you will know that I chose Red Bull If you haven't seen a Season Challenge episode before now and you're just, just tuning in, um, there's a playlist, there's a whole lot of playlist links in the description bar down below, so check those out. Um, it is essentially like, it's got 2012, 2013, 2014 so far, single races of 2013. Um, there are, I am looking to do some like career modes for F1 PS2 games. But that's obviously not going to be using a capture card. So we're going to qualify for the uh, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. This one's actually quite a modern circuit. Um, it's actually one of my favourites in terms of watching F1. Um, it's one of my favourites to drive. I absolutely love the circuit. Um, so with that in mind, where am I? Ah, what's up Ed? with Sebastian Vettel, so I just yawned there. Uh, oh yeah, big shout out to everyone at Resi, hello. Um, Crease top speed, I think I'm going to go, because the Red Bull doesn't have much in the way of speed, I'm going to go for a really aggressive setup. So let's just see how we go. this on the weekend of the Austrian Grand Prix uh, practice has already happened qualifying tomorrow so hopefully I'll have this up before qualifying got a bit hesitant coming into turn one ran a little bit wide and oh I've had to get off the gas I've absolute balls that lap up because I went in at the wrong angle there and look at that. Back end trying to step out on me. It's, you can tell I'm not I'm not used to driving a red bull. I just have brakes to play with. Um, so I'm gonna go with the rear for this section. Oh my god! And that's that's what happened. Proper late on the brakes. Back end stepping out there. Uh, oh, the OS is not available there. Ah, there it is. Now, change it up to front for the second section. I'll claw back hell of a lot in that second sector. Just about got it under control. Oh, I missed the apex. Who's that? Is that Rosberg or Hamilton? Hamilton's the one currently in front. Oh my god, the car stepped out. Oh, I've tapped the wall. 
Oh, car's gone off to Narnia. Over the line. Did we get it? Yes, we got a pole. Half a second. Unbelievable. Half a second faster. Then the Red Bull. Wow. That's just something else. And Vettel was, I tell you, you can see he's six tenths off, which is surprising considering where I was after the first sector, I was one and a half off. So I was really looking at a third row. Um, I've just pointed out a shot down, you can't really see it. Um, so that's where Magnussen is. Um, but I just pulled it back to four tenths. So even then, I was at four tenths off the quickest driver, which I presume at the time would have been Vettel. And then I think the Mercedes have come back into it, which is, is their M air MO for the way the car is this season. So um, can we win the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix? We will find out. But I need to say, I am buzzing about that lap. It's one of the best laps I've ever done in season challenge. I mean, to beat a Mercedes by half a second around Abu Dhabi. And I know what you're thinking, Eric. Do I have, you know, um, don't let the brake thing off? Yes, I do. But I think the section where I struggle on is probably going to be that middle sector. Because. That seems to be an area where Mercedes are quick. In fact, I think the whole circuit is where Malaysia's quick. Malaysia, where Mercedes are quick. So how I've got Paul, I don't know. May, maybe it's a setup I chose because I was dilly in between um, the first high-speed setup because I think it's about three, three high-speed setups, and I chose like I think the second one. So maybe that's probably swayed a bit in my favour. So, go straight into about to go straight into qualifying. Zero percent chance of rain, which is always a good thing. Twenty six Celsius tra track temperature is still the same. Uh, I've got five laps. Oh, sorry, just showing that. Um, so. Yeah, so now we're going straight to the race and we're going to see if we can win with Red Bull in Season Challenge. Um, I don't think I've actually won a race so far. I mean, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I've not won a race yet. Oh, it's Ro Rosberg's my rival and he's in third. So really, I could just let Hamilton go, but I want to see what target is. Is it first second? No. Oh, I can see the way he's pointing. Good initial start. Oh, got a kick of over there halfway through turn one. That's a get off the gas there, because that could have been on oh, Almighty. Oh. I think Alonso just got ahead of Rosberg there. This is going to be the longest five laps ever. Oh, that heavy steering is kicking in on that car. Down the back straight for the first time, and I've got a bit of a lead. That's not going well. Oh my god, Hamilton's right at my rear end. Oh my god, back end. Back end stepping out. I've gone off to Mars. Oh my god, I've got absolutely the worst oversteer in the world. I'm 
Yeah, Alonso's that slow. We're two seconds ahead of him. Oh my god, the oversteer. So it's kicking me on this car. So so far it's been a good. Oh my god, I can't deal with it at last sector. So much heavy steering coming across the line for lap one. Right, so at the minute, I'm on to beat Rosberg. Or did I beat him in the first set? Okay, if you watched the last race. Put in the comments whether you thought I beat Rosberg in the last race, because I can't remember. Okay, I've got, I'm ahead of the, well, I'm out of DRS for Hamilton, so that's fine. Oh my god, the steering is real. Still looks okay, everything's going fine so far. God, back end. So standard cars I can find at the minute. Right, left. Get okay, another three attempts on Hamilton. It's like I'm holding him up. Oh my God, back end. Could this be the race where I win in 2014 season challenge? Oh, I hate this last sector. I can't deal with it. Where's Hamilton? Oh my god. Back ends all over the place. Oh, car won't stick. Jesus. 50.8 Rosberg half a second behind Alonso oh my where am I going say so I don't need to push but I have got so much oversteer, it is ridiculous. Where is my car going? I have got oh, I've got oversteer and understeer. God help me. Oh shit! Oversteer and understeer, never good. Oh shit, Rosberg's now in third. Um, this might not go well. So it's about, oh my god, where am I going? So, Rosberg's now third. Hamilton is still less than two seconds behind. is now right behind me. It's like, I don't need to do anything. I don't need to pull away. I know I've got the beating of Hamilton, really. But where's Rosberg? I could be quite content to do, like, robbing at 53s. Point four to Rosberg. Oh shit! I've run wide. Oh no, that's all. That's all wrong. That's all wrong. Oh, Hamilton's right at my gearbox. See, I could have just sped off into the distance, and that would have been the boring season challenge race. But no, for all you people who watch it, I'm going to make it entertaining. Oh my god, Hamilton is so close at my rear end.
he's going to have DRS. He has to have DRS, surely. Sliding out, where's Hamilton? Hamilton's there, he's gonna have DRS. I think it's gotta be the traction speed coming out the corners. It's like half a second now, what's the gap? 4.3, yeah, Rosberg's not gonna catch us. I'm doing a Hamilton 2016 Abu Dhabi in a Red Bull. I'm going so slow through the corners because I don't need to actually push the car. It's going to be ironic if Rosberg's right behind us coming to start this last lap, but I don't think he is. 51.5 minus 2.3 and Rosberg. It's, again, it's only 4.2. See, I'm doing the 2016. See, I'm doing to Hamilton what Hamilton did to Rosberg. It went, oh my god, he's so close. Ever so slow. Oh my god, Hamilton's there. This is the last lap of the race. I've gone so wide. Where's Hamilton? 3.8, oh my god, he's there, the back straight. You can see on the mini bat. That blue dot is Rosberg. So I'm pulling away, get a bit of space from, uh, from Hamilton. Oh god, back end has gone off to Narnia. Surely, is this the lap where Hamilton's going to have the DRS? He has got the DRS. I'm having to go so defensive and so late on the brakes. Three seconds. Oh, Rosberg's going to run out of time. He's not going to do it. Oh, my God, I've locked up. I've locked up. Oh, he's not close enough. I think I've got him. That's it. I'm secure. First ever race win in Season Challenge 2014. Well, I'll say, it's been a long time coming. I think the signs were there with Toro Rosso. I moved to Red Bull. Potential was shown in Germany. But this is the full thing. I'm going to cross the line and win for Red Bull in season challenge. I've done a 2016 to Hamilton, what Hamilton did to Rosberg. Wow. Rosberg, 3.1 off in the end. He just, he left it too late. <laughs> but, a 50.8. I pretty much had the measure of Hamilton all race. I mean, if we go to what? my lap times were after the 50.8 they had a 53.8 51.5 and a 53.3 compared to what Lewis was doing he was pretty much on the same pace as me that last lap he was so much he was seven times quicker than what I was doing so it was just about measuring the gap really and just keep it Vettel was ninth shit So 91 points, 38 difference, uh, yeah Lewis has pretty much got this title sewn up, I don't know how many races are left, I believe it might be I think 2 or 3,
so oh hang on there's another contract off you i think you get about you get you have three rival challenges during the season in the during the season challenge if you pass all three then obviously your last one is your last, so obviously so you start with salva i've moved to toro rosso i've moved to red bull so this one coming up is my last one so obviously because i've beaten rosberg two out of three races i get the option of taking a seat which means i'll be battling lewis it'll be a tall order for the championship um and you know what i want to do i'm going to take up the offer i'll be driving for mercedes for the last few races of 2014 season challenge um i accept the offer so I'm now driving for Mercedes. Um, I've had to do it sort of the long way. So I've gone from Salba. So I've gone through both Red Bull teams, a Ferrari powered team, and I'm now with Mercedes. So that's pretty awesome stuff. And it's raining for Japan. My first race with Mercedes. It's raining in Japan all weekend long. So the only thing is, I'm battling Lewis for the title. I can't fight him. I can't select him as my rival. So I've got to go with battle. Things could be close, um, mate. You're about twenty odd points off, mate. I'm pretty sure I'm going to beat you. So what are we going? One, two, three. So we've got four races left. Gap of 38 points to my teammate Lewis. Hmm. Could I do it? Well, strange things have happened in Formula One. I think I did that in 2012. I'm not quite sure who I was driving as at the time. So what we're going to do is, um, in terms of, I'm going to see whether I can actually do the Saturday, if, sorry, the Friday. I don't think that is going to be the case. I think it's going to be the case of just jump straight into qualifying. Um, it's one shot qualifying, so obviously, you've seen it all before, you know how it works. Um, obviously, I've driven the Red Bull in the rain, I've not driven the Mercedes in the rain, so this will be interesting to see how it goes. I mean, Nico Rosberg's Mercedes, so because it's full wet conditions, uh, we're going to go to the full wet setup and we are going to see how it goes. Back and already stepping out on the outlap. Here we go, down the back straight. I'm actually nervous as hell. Oh my god! I'm so tentative and nervous. But I'm just finding extra grip there. Feather in the throttle. I think it's going to be neck and neck here. Pill for a setter. Oh, I've lost it. Oh, and I think I've just lost it all. I've lost all that time. Massive kick of oversteer as I went through the first deck now. Are we going to see a replay of it? No. We might be able to see a replay of it at the end. If I can get the full replay at the end of Macaulay lap, I'll show you it because that was unbelievable. I got the biggest kick of oversteer.
I'm actually really pissed off because that was a purple first sector. Oh, again, run wide. Oh, I've got it all wrong. I'm just going to have to slowly back on. This has been the most horrific lap in qualifying. Started off great and it's gone wrong. And I'm seventh on the grid. So that's not gone well. <sighs> yeah, sorry about that. My basically mum opened the door, so yeah. Anyway, um that wasn't the great end of the lap. Um now if I can view the replay of it, so what we're going to do is we're going to fast forward for the first bit so this is where it kind of started to go wrong I took too much speed in goes offline comes back on I just about to get away with it we'll fast forward it on again now at this point I've got the car back I'm in the momentum and this is just from the outshot of how scary oversteer into Degna 1 looks Look, just go off, lose the back end, and that's what it was like. Do for the in-car shot. I'm in purple. I've just lost. The, I've just taken too much speed, and I reckon. And I just had the wrong brake bias on, and that was pretty much at the end of the lap. Um, so. For being purple to being 1.6 off the pace, uh, yeah, I've got a massive job to do um, because I personally think I could have been in the 52s if not the low 51s. Um, yeah, I think now I've just got dark and dark. I'm going to switch my light on. Hold on. Okay, people, and I'm now back. There is light. Don't worry about the whole thing being dark earlier. I will sort out the lighting when I'm editing. One hundred percent right. I can't change the setup, which is annoying. So um, just gonna go straight to the race. Uh, I think I'm gonna have any chance of this. I've got to get a lightning start. When I say lightning start. I mean a lightning start. <sighs> Hamilton on pole, Vettel is second. I think it's just a case of I probably have maybe an outside chance of winning the championship, but I've got to have the start of all starts. I've got Bottas, Bottas in the Williams. This was when Williams was competitive. So I'm putting ahead of me. Oh no, Magnussen, stay there. Stay oh fuck, I'm gonna get flocked. I'm gonna ask, oh, I've just hit the back, oh, back of Bottas. Gonna try to take Ricardo on the outside. Oh, that is brave. And I'm up to P3 already. Slightly on slightly unorthodox now if you do the assist. I'm hugging that curb so much. Oh, come on, stay on the black stuff. Just about staying on the black stuff. I'm not taking a break by us. Oh, fuck off. Oh, I've gone off. Bollocks. Oh, that is awful. That's an awful line. Just 
so uh, after that opening for a second of being okay it's gone a bit tits up right what's the gut to Ricardo I've got a decent gut to Ricardo Hamilton's got Vettel right behind him and let's see how I do about taking this corner 108 mile an hour in the wet. Oh, that's just not on. I think that last sector is more suited to the last sector than any of the two sectors on the track. Nine tenths to Vettel. So. Really looking good now because I'm all over Vettel. Are well, we going to try and do the the Irvine of '97? Not quite. Those of you've been watching this one for a long time, you'll know. Oh, oh, that's an unorthodox track route. And I didn't get a corner cut warning. Sound. Another unorthodox track. But honestly, this is the actual track. Oh my God. I've overcooked it, now I've got to catch him back up again. Bollocks. Oh, come on, Mercedes, turn. Hamilton's not really getting away from that, but to be fair. Right, this is the section where it's got to be early braking. I said early braking, not late. Right, now back to the rear. And I think Carlos got the speed to take me on. 182. Get it, mate. I think it's going to take me another lap to catch up to Vettel because. 2.6 again I think it's all about the first and third sectors because I can't deal with the second one oh, I can't deal with these S's on a pad Ken was starting to step out a bit there. Two point four, so it's not too bad. Personal best first sector. Breaking hard. Now, if you have a look at what the gap is, I'd say it's roughly around about 2, 2.5. It's the first time I've taken the spoon section at any point clean. Bit of the grass there. I will be honest, I don't think I'm getting better. Hundred and eighty miles an hour. And he's neatly done with the chicane, Hamilton's just starting to fall flat. And we go across the line, it's a 53-3, it's the fastest lap of the race. That is a massive amount of gain in the final sector. I think I've got the tile that is dialed in. I think everyone else has got to be on default setup, surely. I've 
got Vettel now, right? I can't cock this up at all. Got to keep it together. Break. Purple first sector, eight tenths. Vettel's run a bit wide there. This could be the moment I look for, as long as I don't force it up. Off top the back of Vettel. I'm going to force it up the inside, and we've got him. Up in the second place. Is Vettel still there? Coming back on the inside. Gave him the space, but he couldn't capitalise. And I'm now going to achieve the try and make the impossible happen. Catch and pass Lewis, who, as we all know, is a master in these conditions. There he is, just at the road. I think that's probably about two seconds, and maybe slightly more. Fair, Vettel's still sticking with me, so you know, kudos to him. I've done another purple sector, nearly seven tenths. Oh, I'm absolutely wringing the neck out of my Mercedes out now. Tell me that's not a 50. Oh, behave, have a word with yourselves. 52 2. Oh, I've gone way too wide. Oh, damn it. No, I'm, actually, I'm actually used to this now. Oh, I'm, I'm actually risking everything now. I could end up with no points if I keep going on at this rate. Red first sector, obviously, but still 2.2. So that's eight tenths lost. So that would have been a lot less if I'd, if I'd not run wide at turn one. Are we in for a grandstand Mercedes last lap finish? I nearly won with Red Bull. Is it going to be a case of nearly winning with Mercedes in my first race? Come on, Mercedes. Come on, give me the traction. I've got I've had an absolute meteoric, banzai insane middle sector to have any hope of a dive bomb. It's not going to, no, I'm too far back for the dive bomb. Oh, if I'd not run wide, who knows what could have happened, but it's going to be a 1 2 for Mercedes in Japan. Cross the line, it's a 1 2 for Mercedes. I will take that any day of the week. Absolute not, that's an absolute great result. From 8th to 2nd, I will take, so 7th. And I'm actually really chuffed with that, where I started. Um, I'm the only guy in the 52s. In fact, I want to have a look at my laps. Right, Hamilton did his 53.662 on lap 4. So, I did a 53.3 on lap 3. What did he do? Did a 53.9. So my 52.2 was on. My God, that's so much quicker. Where did it gain all that time then? First and final sectors. So now we're going back to the main screen. I'm still recording. Two interruptions in one video. Wow. Um, so I forgot to please stay in the championship. Um, to second place. Um, I kind of feel a bit gutted because I could have probably passed Lewis if I'm honest. Um, 
but I'm happy to won two and you know Lewis got the win I got second place I'm still gutted I felt I could have probably beaten him one more lap I would have had him um, but you know it's just swung some roundabouts in the season challenge um, if spots maybes so I was actually, you know, happy at the end of the day. Got a one two. I beat Vettel. If you look at the gap now, it's fifty four hundred nine, uh, twenty five, fifty, seventy five. So it's still on. If you look at the gap of temperature, it's not. I want to say it's about fifty four. It's 105. Okay, so let's line up to 110 or 55. Um, that's. Hang on a minute. Let's go 110. 120, 130, 140, 150. It's, uh, it's about 45 points, so that's a race win. second place and a ninth place um, yeah it's not bad um, so yeah that is the end of episode 5 um, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this video um, probably something along the lines of uh, I don't know 2016 recreation and Merc dominance or probably just 2016 recreation um, so yeah that's been episode 5 I've been Cosplay Gamer 907 um, I'm going to get on to the editing literally as soon as I finish recording um, I'll put stuff up on 